What's up, everybody? Welcome. My name's Ivan, and I quit YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But let's talk about it. So many YouTubers lately have quit, or at least the word on the street is like so many big YouTubers have quit YouTube. So what's going on? Is YouTube not a great job? What is happening? For somebody like me who's just getting into the whole content creation and it makes you question like am i doing the right thing so why is everybody quitting and how do you define quitting so you have people like matt and the other matt and tom and jordan and a bunch of other youtubers big name we're not talking average youtubers you know we, we're not talking youtubers on my level we're talking big channels with millions of followers that are just quitting it makes you second guess youtubers like me who are just beginning are we making the right choice getting into this maybe maybe not would i love to make a career out of this oh my god yeah that would be amazing but right now i'm just enjoying making content i love it and to see like three four five hundred people watch it amazing so you have these guys quitting us new guys coming in we're wondering is youtube failing like, what is going on with YouTube that they're exiting the platform? Let's look at what these videos really are. These guys, when they got in to content creation into YouTube back in the day, I'm sure they were a lot hungrier than they are now. They have been at it for a decade. I'm just starting out. I'm only a few months in. I'm right now in the spring of my YouTube journey. I just started it. Everything is exciting these guys might be in their winter they have been through the seasons and they're tired of it or whatever their business turned out to be they don't want to be that anymore and life is in stages life is in stages we go from young to old we change interests we change hobbies we grow we learn we find new things for these guys who are tired of their youtube journey does that make for the best content creation if you show up to a job every day that you don't want to do doesn't matter how good the job is you're not going to want to do that point is if you don't want to do something you're not going to be as good at delivering that and that transfers over to the audience their fans who have been watching them are they getting the best content from these guys you know it's it's a question but that leaves a spot for people like me who are hungry, who love this process, who are just starting out to get in the door. We shouldn't be mad at these guys for wanting to exit if they're not happy with the way things are, if they're overwhelmed. Because honestly, this is a lot of work. Content creation, making videos is a lot of work. I'm not gonna lie, it is hard. So I'm sure that there's a lot of pressure on these guys considering they have grown the channel to the levels that they have to perform to to make constant videos like i don't want to work on a deadline i don't want to be the the youtuber who every monday at 6 a.m video has to be done has to be uploaded no i want to do this on my own speed whenever i do a video i upload it that's it that is my schedule i love it i don't want this to be a scheduled job like that doesn't make me happy you have to know what makes you happy before you start it before you get into things you have to know yourself a little bit but that brings me back to the original question how do you define quitting because in my opinion these guys are not quitting they're like oh i know every video says i'm quitting youtube these guys are not quitting these guys are lucky enough to be able to retire from one of the highest paying jobs they've ever had they are retiring this is like michael jordan quitting basketball nope he didn't quit and go work at mcdonald's he retired from basketball it's just like these guys they're retiring because they can they're retiring and moving on to possibly something else that they enjoy doing because that youtube afforded them the possibility to be able to enjoy what they do they're not quitting and working at another like basic job because they're retiring and moving to something they really want to do. That's the truth of it. Look at Shaq and Charles Barkley. They didn't 
quit basketball and moved there, they went and transitioned into commentators now, right? That's what basketball afforded them. Another awesome job that they love to do. It's the same. These guys are moving on to possibly film work or podcasts or doing something, whatever it is that they wanted to do because they can because YouTube afforded them the possibility to be able to enjoy what they do. All these viewers who have grown with these creators, of course, they're going to miss them. You're going to miss the content. That's why we subscribe. But it leaves an opening. It leaves an opening for people like me who are hungry, who want to do it, who want to give you guys the best value, who have, who are learning, who are trying to grow because we love it and we want to give you the best stuff. It leaves an opening for people like me to give you really good videos. And I'm trying to make these videos as good as I can. But don't mistake that all these YouTubers who are just quitting or anything. It's an exciting thing to me. It's an exciting thing. One, they are able to retire from an amazing job that's really high paid. That's all there is. That's the only way you can look at it. They are retiring and retiring young from a job they love because they can and moving on to other jobs that they love. I personally don't see the, the, all these YouTubers quitting as a bad thing. This is only an amazing opportunity for people like me to know that there's a possibility out there for us to succeed. All we can do is learn from the guys who came before us. All we can do is learn and do things better. I will see you guys next time, next video, next week. Can't wait till one day I, I'm able to quit YouTube.